To world weight here 77.1 kilograms 170 pounds Frederick Codfoot from Norway in the blue corner his opponent Kevin Enns from Germany in the red and we've seen Kevin Enns finished before with a dash choke so watch out for that on the ground from the fighter from Germany Enns already looking to lace that leg and drag his opponent down to the ground Now looking to sneak the hooks in. Hotfoot largely now with his weight down to the ground to avoid the takedown. And he drags us to the ground, ends up in the back. Have to be careful about getting pulled off the back here. Great work by Hodfoot. Recognising that he could shake him off the back and he reached up and levered the neck as well to pull down his opponent further to the ground and then face him. One of the textbook escapes when somebody has your back. leg now for Enzi and some heavy hammer fists they're getting through he might look to change his position he's defending a little bit pulling his shoulder against his face to stop those punch and slams being slammed down from Hodford he's really trying to complete this takedown seems like he's going to lose the single leg here he can start to circle around to his left side to lace the leg here, keep it straight and then block the left leg of Hodfoot. Got a team here from Enns, he's got some great submissions, we've seen him with the dash before. He finishes up against the cage, uses that opportunity to drop down for the double leg. Hodfoot now with the back. See if he can complete the takedown. Again, looking to break find the legs. Kimura trap here for ends. Offers the affordance just such a brilliant lever with this figure four grip on the on the shoulder here. Even if Hodfoot takes this fight to the ground, he runs the risk of being submitted. So in this position here, he's got to stay calm. He's got to try and break the grip, or if he does get the takedown, it's to make sure that he's got a tight lock around the body. It's a nice right hand from the replay, catch of the kick. It allowed ends to just take this fight to the ground. There was a single leg he was chasing throughout the round. Just came up short. Hotfoot able to do it get into this position here, land a nice knee to the outside of the thigh of Enns. This is where Enns had the Kamor trap.
Round two. Hard to put from Norway in the blue, ends from Germany in the red. Nice teeth from ends. Head kick from Hodfoot. Hodfoot would have done better to get, give himself a little bit of space after that lovely head kick. Again, we're seeing this battle grapple up against the cage. The unsung hero of mixed martial arts. If you've not been in this position, it's very debilitating, it's very energy consuming as well. It's a fight for inside position, particularly with the underhooks. for them to work up against the cage here. And again ends with the Kimura trap, throwing a spanner in the works. Going to prevent Hodfoot to complete this takedown safely. So you can see here, even if he goes to the ground, he's in jeopardy of being submitted. That's why he's hiding his arm underneath his leg. The second that pops out, it can be cranked to the back of his head and uh, put immense pressure on the shoulder. He's falling off the back of us a slightly here. But the key is to maintain this grip and to threaten it. Hodfoot could grab the hold of his own wrist and start to pull his arm through. Ultimately, you want to drive your shoulder into your opponent here. As you can see here, Hodfer made that decision to drive his shoulder downward. Just trying, got to try and free his arm from this position here. And it's a game of chess. He doesn't want it to get popped out from his body and get his, the palm of his hand to put to the back of his head. That's why you're seeing he's hiding it there from the camera angle. He's got to drive his shoulder into his opponent, though. It's difficult because the leg's trapped as well around the arm. There's the armbar here as well, from ends. One foot. He's got to start to think about circling over the body. He gets knocked over there, variation of the leg lace. He's got one across the face, one across the head. And that was a valiant attempt from ends to finish that armbar at the end of the round. It looked like he potentially could have had it. Great save by the referee there from the hammer fist. A very evenly matched fight between these two, Norway and Germany. Round three, Hodfoot in the blue, ends in the red. We see ends threatened with a Kimura trap and throw up various submissions off of his back, but he's caught in the double unhooks here now. Hodfoot had some success in the top position. Nice knee from Hodfoot, straight to the midsection. Shot. He's trying to lever his opponent up to the sky so he can drop down, use the hip to circle his opponent down to the ground. It's a good job. He's caught the Kimura here. 
forced to roll from the pressure. This is going to give, ends the top position into Mount now. He can opt to let go of this arm, and I would to keep the mount, otherwise he's going to go back to his back. He can get full guard here, and all he wants to do is try and maintain this. Now he's got to think about the position here. There we go, let go of the arm, made the adjustment. He's got both hands on the mat, potentially take the back now. Hot foot's in danger of being flattened out. This in turn opens up the rear naked choke as well as the strikes from this position. We saw this with Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz in the first fight. The Conor got flattened out and uh, Diaz used the punches to get underneath the neck and finish with the choke. It's one of those tactics that will work forever. You know, the punches mixed in with the submissions. And now needs to make the adjustment. He's a little bit off to the side here. He's given Hodfoot the opportunity to put his hips to the sky. Start to shimmy his way out. Body triangle here from ends. Controlling position also serves to sap the cardio as well. Messes with the breathing and the diaphragm, the rhythm. Ends now in the top position. He's got to make sure he stays low on the belt line here. Could opt to switch to both hooks now. Again, he's a little bit off to the left side. Postures up with his hand correctly here. He wants to be square on the hips and low to the belt line. Otherwise, he, he falls foul to this, being shook off, and ending up now on the bottom. He's still going to hold on to this arm, though, and try to submit the arm of Hodfoot. 15 seconds left here. Again, he gives up the top position to Hodfoot. More trap, sit up, sweep attempt from ends from Germany. A great technical fight. What really even match too. Very difficult to edge that mistake out of your opponent when you're so evenly matched. But we go to a judge's scorecard to render the decision of this world to make fight between Hodfoot and Germany. Will it be Frederick Codfoot or Kevin Ends? We will go to the judges' scorecard to determine the decision.